Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am the guy who picked Shailon Nurdembeke to defeat Derek Minner in a real fight. And I'm here to talk about Shailon taking on Melkazile Costa, or maybe Milk Costa, with a K at the end of Milk. Uh, and my prediction for this fight is Melk Costa wins a decision. I think he's able to keep this fight standing, and he's got a little more to offer on the feet than Shylon. Even though both guys, each guy, I should say, was knocked out in his last fight against the same man, Steve Garcia, and in almost the same fashion, same ex exact type of fight. But despite that, and despite Shylon having harder power on the feet, I still think uh, Melchizedek Costa will be able to outpoint and outwork Shylon. I think Shylon's best chance of winning is to take uh, Melchizedek Costa to the ground, where I don't think he'd be able to go through him grappling-wise like uh, Tiago Moises and this other guy did, but I do think he'd be able to hold him down because he's shown to be pretty good at doing that. But on the feet, I think Melchizedek has a lot to offer. I think he could duplicate the success of Josh Kulabau, who was crowded by a uh, Shion or Dembeke and taken down early, but then he took over in rounds two and three. The takedowns weren't there for Shion, and he was being cleanly outstruck. And that's the fight I envision here for Mel Costa. Uh, Mel Costa has 20 wins, seven via TKO and knockout, six via submission, and seven via decision. So on paper, it's tough to guess what a win would look like for him, but here I would favor a decision. And his seven losses include two by knockout, two by submission, and three by decision. The knockouts are to Steve Garcia in his last fight, where he had a good first round riding Steve Garcia, but then uh, got hurt and smashed with uh, elbows. And then his other loss is a doctor stoppage after five minutes of this guy, Elis Malima da Silva. And that's back in 2017. It happened, but it's not a legitimate finish loss. He was also submitted twice. He was submitted by Tiago Moises in his UFC debut. He took that fight on short notice under shitty circumstances. And Tiago Moises was a little too much for him. Got him out of there with a face crank in round two. And then this other guy who's a good fighter, Rafael, uh, Rafael Barbosa, got him out of there with, it says an arm triangle choke on Sure Dog and Tapology, but that's bullshit. It's an anaconda choke. You know old MMA Al Dente watches the fucking fights. Uh, but uh, Costa actually had Barboza in an arm triangle choke in round one. So maybe they made that mistake. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, he threatened him early and succumbed late uh, to the uh, grappling of Rafael Barboza. And that fight was some years ago. And then he lost three times by decision. The last of which comes in uh, 2022 to Italo Gomez in the LFA. And before that, uh, this guy Marcos beat him in 2018, and that was a bullshit decision. He got robbed in that fight. He totally won it. Uh, Shailon Nurdambeke, he's got a record of 39 wins and 11 losses. He's a guy who uh, has been around the block. This would be his 51st fight, which is fucking incredible. Uh, but in the UFC, we saw him get knocked out against uh, Steve Garcia. That was a fight where he knocked Steve Garcia down early. And after having a good first round, at the very end of the round, he got almost knocked out himself by Steve Garcia. And then in round two, just wasn't meant to be, and he was taken out very quickly. Uh, Steve just steamrolled him, got him out of there with a body kick and punches. And that's one of his three TKO losses. The other one comes to Rong Zhu in 2020. Rong Zhu clipped him with a big right hand and pounced on him. That's a former, I think, UFC fighter. Rong Zhu, unless he's back. And then he's got another loss with a body kick that I wasn't able to see, but that was back in 2018 or 19 or whatever. He's also been submitted six times at the UFC level. It hasn't happened. His last submission loss comes in 2019 to this guy Barbosa, not Rafael Barbosa, but another guy. Uh, but he's been around the block, Shailon Nerdembeke. He's seen it all, and of course, he's lost every which way. But here at the UFC level, I think he's a guy that, in most fights, needs to be able to ground you to win, to take you down. On the feet, he's got something to offer. He's not a bad striker at all. And again, he's got the power advantage in most fights and in this one. 
but he's just not uh, that not such a sophisticated striker. And I don't think he'd be able to hang with Costa over the course of 15 minutes unless he's landing power shots at all the right moments. So Costa is my pick to win. I bet on him here at minus 170. I think that's his primary path to victory. Uh, I, I mean, I think uh, he's uh, that's uh, a good bet. As for his primary path to victory, I think decision would be most likely. But with the way things have looked lately, I could never trust that uh, with each guy being knocked out, even though Steve Garcia is fucking danger personified. So uh, there's that. I do think uh, there could be a little value on decision, minus 145, because it does cover what I consider Sh- uh, Shylon's primary path to victory. I think if he wins, it's taking Costa down, not advancing jujitsu wise like Tiago Moises did, but taking him down and smothering him. So there's a little value there in the over, but even that I can never totally trust because, again, some knockout losses lately and a good amount of finish losses scattered throughout. Uh, so right now, just the only p- uh, bet is on Nick- uh, Melchizedek Costa at minus 170, and the official pick is he wins by decision. And it looks similar to the cool about fight where he's got to tame Shylon and then take over in a striking battle. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit and check out my other videos.